Hello everyone, and welcome back to Kamiko on the Nintendo Switch. Last time, we finished off Yamato's portion. We managed to beat the final boss with style. Spin to win OP. And this time, we'll be going onto Uzume, the archer. O oh, child of the transient world! Abrupt though this may be, thou art summoned now to the realm of the dead. Thou should know that the gates connecting thine transient world and our realm of the dead have been sealed by demons. If this goes on, thine transient world become rulest by said demons, and humans will be led down the path to destruction. Before you is the Imperial Regalia, the Magatama of Yasakani. This weapon has been granted to thou because amongst the Shrine Maidens you hold a special power. Hear my words, O child of the transient realm. Become the Kamiko who will vanquish the demons and release the seal on the gate between worlds. And we're back in the Forest of Awakening. That sounded oddly like like the other one. So now we've got we've got a bow and arrow now. It's a little interesting. It fires a little slow. Not sure I enjoy it that much, but oh well, we'll go through it. You also can't move once you've fired. You can, however, hit things from across the screen. What was this one? What was the key? I don't think I can use this yet. Don't remember. Let's just kill a few things. Um. Ooh, I can fire off volleys. So just like the longsword, we have a bit of a combo attack. It allows us to fire off multiple arrows in a row. Seems pretty good. Lot, very good zoning. Again, you can't move during it, so... Its use is a bit limited. It requires a lot of positioning, a lot of kiting. But you can destroy things from a, a half screen away. So that's the primary reason you want it. So it's a very good if you like kiting, if you like that that ranged classes. Uh, also much better for a patient man. Ah uh, I am not a patient man, so. This may come as a bit of a challenge for me. <clears throat> There's shrine number two. So it looks like it's just the same same story, just with different playable characters. Which means this should go by relatively smoothly. If I can remember where I had to go. And I'm just taking so much extra damage because I can't remember where to go. Let's see, I think there was just some kind of foresty area we could pass through. Oh, yeah, there's bushes over on the left there. Health, thank you. So back here we've got some... We can push the switch. Breaks down the wall. Let me zoom on out of here. Do I need the key now? I think I can do it now. 
And the Kiwis are back. I'm an archer this time. I need to be careful, so I'll just let the birds live this time. Unless they come after me. Like that. So this archer class is probably going to end up being more like a stealth kind of unit. I'm going to need to rely a lot more on positioning instead of just throwing myself in and, and hoping for the best. Uh, where was the other room? Ah, uh, yes, over here. Ow! Wait, not over here. Down here. Can I have some more health, please? Anyone? Let's see, uh, this was... oh, the ball. Guess I should come here after. Yeep! Don't touch me. So with this new class, I'm gonna have to see what its special charge move is. Because in the last one, you could spin to win, and it was really OP. So what can I do with this? Charging... Ooh! Kinda just clears the screen. That's fun. It's a good good thing to use when you're kind of stuck in a pinch. Oh. I didn't have enough blue essence. Still don't have enough blue essence. Kiwis. It is actually a lot easier to kill things now, and it's, there's a lot less risk because of the range. Got me some blue essence. Grab some health here. And... Keep going. Uh, I'll go through to the north side. I think I'm done up here. Go up the north where I open up the balls. Yeah. Uh, go through all these guys. I'm not speaking too much because this is all kind of the same stuff. been through all of this before, it's just a different class. And I do notice that there's a lot less fighting because now I can kind of just kill things from, from a mile away. Now that I can do that, it, it kind of trivializes most things. I can just run in a void and then whenever I can't get through anywhere, then I just kind of throw a bunch of arrows out. So on to the first boss once again. Now uh, we'll pick up some blue essence and some health. Now let's check for any secrets on these pillars. Can I not push things as this character? She doesn't show a pushing animation. Oh well. Didn't look like there's any secrets, so let's take on the ball. The stone golem ball. So, first round, he just shoots out a bunch of fireballs. So I need to bait him onto the switches. Come on. Woo! Oh! Wasn't fast enough. Again, the immobility is kind of annoying. That's why you kind of have to be safe. Got a kite. Ouch! Ah, that that was unnecessary. Okay, hopefully I can I can survive this next part. 
This is not a good place to be in. Ah, oh, what? The fist, the fist landed on me. Oh well, take two. Let the fireballs go, he immediately comes towards me. And I, I got hit by the fist again. And I did it again. I'm doing so well. Okay, first round. His balls are dropping. Three hit combo. And he returns to do the fireballs. Don't get hit by the mushroom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't really spend much time attacking during this section. Because I am completely immobile. Don't touch me. Go away. Uh, where are you landing? There you are. There you go. Uh, was the second row? No. Us? Oh no! You missed it. Oh good, he crossed the screen. Let's get these mushroom guys out of my way. And there we go, stage complete. Eight minutes, 36 seconds. Very good. Now that we actually know what we're doing and how to beat the levels, it's less wandering around and more actual fighting. Of course, I don't quite remember how to complete all of the levels, so there is still a bit of searching. Then being an archer, all of my attacks are slower too. Usually I could just run through the entire stage, just swinging my sword, but now I have to, to rely a lot, take it a bit slower, rely more on positioning, and keep watch on what's going on at any given time. I'm enjoying the archer class though. I like to play, I tend to like to play ranged characters. Uh, where does this ball go? I think this way. Stay away from me. That's not. Da 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 da. Nobody touch me. Nobody touch me. All right. Oh gods, that was close. Unlock the bridge. And I'll just skiddly daddle on up. Thank you. Uh, this place needs a key. Where do I get a key from? I don't remember. Uh, this place didn't have anything else, I don't think. Yeah. So up. Aha! Uh -huh. Again, running is always a dangerous game. The toads are back. As are the green slime guys. Keep going. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. These guys hurt. Get me some blue essence. Thank you. Um, we're... oof. What did this look... oh yeah, that makes that bridge. 
which I won't be able to get yet, so I'll just go over and clear that up. Yes, yes. I wasn't fast enough. Boo hoo. Okay, let's try that again. And zoom! Zoom, 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 zoom. Just made it. He timed that like perfectly. You guys. It's, ah, it's the key. Do this. Teleport over. Oh boy. Cross the wooden bridge here. And this is what, the second shrine? Oh gods. I I'm in danger. I've got a yep, second shrine. Run up. Kill these guys. Get back out. Um I'll take the the transporters back. Just kill a couple guys. I do s s now and always need blue essence, so it's not like it's a bad thing that to kill. It's just takes a bit of time and finesse. There was a block over here that I had to push it, wasn't there? Ah, uh, behind a tree. Yeah. I remember that. I can press the switch. To unlock a button. To unlock a teleporter. This is all very convoluted. You know, these ancient ruins. You gotta be a little bit convoluted in order to, to make a living in this world. Oh yeah. Uh let's let's charge up. Wham! Oh that's so good. And there goes shrine number three. And shrine number four, I needed to press that one button at that one place that I don't quite remember anymore. So let's go find it. I do like the design of this character, the the cape. It's just very cute. Oh, oh yeah, can't cross the bridge. Take a bit of a detour. Head back up the bridge. Aha! You didn't trick me this time. I'm on to you. Where is the last? Oh shoot. Let me through. Press the button to clear the wall. La di da di da. Business as usual. And there's shrine number four. Now just to just get back there. And here we are. Right? Yeah. Teleporting us away, we'll be able to get another blue essence upgrade and a health upgrade. There we go. That'll help with the next boss. No secrets in the trees. Can I shoot anything off of these pillars? No secrets. Doesn't look like there are any secrets to be had. Oh yeah, the big, big centipede guy. It should be a little bit easier because now I can hit him from range. Yep, 
There we go. Oh yeah. He'll follow me. Oh shoot. Ah, I missed. I missed. Fire, 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 fire. Ah, oh, he did damage to me? No! Stop covering my my thing. Oh, this is harder. Oh, I just took another point of damage. So this is a bit harder because I have to actually aim at the ball now. I can't just kind of run up to it and start smacking it around like it's my... My... What's something you can smack around? Pinata? Like it's my pinata. I can't just go up and beat it with a stick. Some fancy footwork. No! There we go. Get back here. You can stay away. Oh gods. Just gotta keep moving. Good thing it only takes two hits to, to activate the ball. And there's the final stage, done. Stage time, 5 minutes and 56 seconds, not bad. Isn't she so cute? It's like schoolgirl uniform with a nice green hood. Kind of looks like she has headphones. Yeah, it's just very adorable. Very good design. And that'll be all for this episode. Going through these a little faster because I'm not just kind of wandering around aimlessly. So, thanks for watching this episode of Comic-Con on the Nintendo Switch. My name is Tofu, and I will see you in the next episode.